Hi there, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Hope life is treating you well on this beautiful Monday afternoon. And thank you for watching this clip on circular segment. I didn't know what circular segment is, so I had to look on Wikipedia, and here's a picture. Once you have a picture, rest of the stuff, it's pretty easy to figure out. Although looking at this picture and what they showed you as a big, long, hairy formula, it's intimidating. But hopefully we'll take this thing out of this long, big, hairy formula. Let's derive this one. All right, I'll leave this for one more second so you can pause it if you want to copy it down. All right, so let's go back and see what we have. Let's start with, of course, with the picture. Without the picture, everything else is hard. Well, it's not a very good circle, but hopefully you'll put up with me here. Okay, one reading. When I first learning about readings, I really didn't like it. I have a good idea what a degree is because 360 degrees make a circle. One reading, it's just really odd. Now, what if you are like me, when you start learning readings and you don't like it, what you can do is this. You can transfer it into degrees to have a better idea. And the unit conversion is this. 180 degrees is equal to pi radians and pi is 3.14159 so on and so forth and if you cancel this one and divide it out so basically you have 180 divided by 3.14159 so on and so forth this will give you in degrees and if you're a little more curious like I was you turn it this one is 57.296 degrees or 57 degrees Take this one, multiply by 60, you'll get it 17 seconds. And then take the decimal remaining of it at times 60 again, you'll see this one is 46 minutes. I don't know how much help it does that do for you. But, you know, the first time when I learned readings, I know, okay, one reading is roughly 60 degrees. That helped me a lot. Okay, so back over here we have a circle, and then this is about 57 degrees. We'll call it a theta. As a matter of fact, let's call it theta over 2 over here and theta over 2. The reason I'm having theta over 2 is I'm going to divide the angle because the perpendicular segment is going to be cutting the angle in half. And I am interested in this shaded area. Okay, so area, or what we call the circular segment, is equal to area of the fan. That's this big long thing, okay, minus area of the triangle. Now you can see why I'm dividing this one in half, because I need a base times height. Area of the fan is pretty easy. The whole area for the circle is pi r squared, okay. We're given the one radian out of two pi radians. Basically, you treated it as a, as a ratio problem. Okay, here's your theta in radians. Now, this whole pi whole circle has t pi r squared, and that's out of 2 pi, and you want to know, with the th theta you're given, how much of the area you have for the fan. Okay, so solving the ratio, that's what you have over here. This chunk has to subtract area of the triangle. Now, how do we find area of the triangle? Hopefully, by now, it should be a common sense. It's base times height, right? So here's my base over 2, here's my base over 2, here's my radius, and here's my height. I've given the theta over 2 here. It's half the radian. Now, once again, radian is just 57 degrees. So here, what we need to do is actually write it at base over 2, divided by r, by definition, this one is sine of theta over 2, because within this triangle, I'm just using definition for a sine angle. And then obviously, now my base over 2 is equal to sine of theta over 2 times radius. Okay, one more to go. Height over r is equal to cosine, the same thing, same angle, same triangle actually. And then I have height is equal to cosine of theta over 2 times r. All right, base times height, I have the triangle over here. So half of base, I have to have a 2 because I have base over 2. Okay, I don't want a base over 2, I want a base. So twice of r times sine 
theta over 2. Okay, that's my base times the height, which is cosine theta over 2 times r. Right, so far so good. So I have my area of segment, the shaded area I need, is equal to pi r squared, this is, should be big R, divided by this ratio of 1 radian, sometime I should have just simplified this, minus, now I'm going to combine two sine, cosine, using the trig formula that cosine of alpha over 2, sine alpha over 2, and twice of this whole thing is equal to sine of alpha. This one is referred as double angle. Okay, so if this one is not familiar with you, you can look it up. It's double angle for sine function. Okay, so I'm going to use it over here. So I have r squared, there's r here, there's r r squared, and then 2 sine of this one, cosine of this one is equal to sine of twice of the angle. Okay, that's the double angle formula. All right, almost there. So here I have, uh, let's get this pack canceled. So I have r squared and a half minus r squared sine, this one cancel, sine of theta. Now remember, we were given theta in radians. So when you do sine of one radians, make sure your calculator is set on radians. If you're not quite sure how to do that, either figure it out or make sure you put a 57 degrees in there. Otherwise, you're going to get the wrong answer. All right, back onto my calculator. I got this one that is roughly equal to 0 0.08 r squared. So a so-called the shaded area is 0 0.08. Uh, r squared, whatever the r is. All right, hope this one is clear. Once again, from Tucson, Arizona, this is Dr. Pan making learning math fun, at least trying to. If the video has been helpful, I would appreciate a comment or a thumb up. Until next time, have a confident day.